I am Coco. Pleased to meet you. Those were the first words I heard from you. We'd never seen each other before, but I could tell you were serious about it. Never in my life had I seen a smile so precious and so sincere. curse myself for not being able to protect that smile. And that's the one thing you asked of me. That I'd protect you. That's why I'm here. Maybe this is only an old wives' tale. And if it isn't, I don't know what I'm going to face from now on. But I must try no matter the cost. I have nothing left to lose. Because I've already lost everything. Come on, come on! This has to work! What? What's going on? I just revived a monster! Why the hell isn't it working with Coco? You will need much more power to do that. 
accomplished there? Who are you? I am the one they call Necromancer. Tell me, young lady, what reasons could possess you to enter my crypt? I came to take Coco back. You're the only one who can help me. Bringing a soul back from the dead. Do you intend to challenge the gods? Defy the, the natural, natural order? Yes, that's why I'm here. I will do anything for her. Go! Then enter the dungeon and face me! Claim the power of the Necromancer! Set off on a huge journey without even knowing how to light a campfire? Who in their right mind would do that? That is precisely why I needed someone like you to accompany me. You don't want a bodyguard, you want a nursemaid. You should know something about survival out here. Mm. Now what? Gonna cry? Mm. What the hell made you want to go on this trip anyway? Daddy issues? Nothing of the sort. Is that so? Thought you'd be running from home or something. You know, the typical spoiled brat routine. I want to learn. Huh? Aren't you a priestess? I thought you all were taught how to read, write, and do calculus, the whole lot. Indeed. I was taught to read and write at the age of four. The wise men of the temple took care of training me in all the areas of knowledge, as well as music and dance. I have read all the books in the archives, and have even been responsible for transcribing part of the sacred scriptures. No other girl in this hellhole of a world knows half as much as you do, princess. What's left for you to learn? I wish to know how people truly live. So, the school of life. Believe me, you don't want to know the real world. But I must! What? Do you even have the faintest clue of what sort of place you broke into? Your temple thing? Not just any temple. It is the seat of the High Priest of Nodam. It is the most important temple on the continent, the cradle of religion! Ah, the religion of Nodam. Do you guys still believe in that? They left us here to go to live isolated in their sacred land, free of any problems. Father is the High Priest, and he will not live forever. When he is no longer here, I will take his place. That is what I have been groomed for the entirety of my life. And what does that have to do with taking a stroll on the wild side? The High Priest is the light that guides the Nodum faithful. Many come to the temple in search of aid. I have been assisting Father in his tasks, and what do you think I have seen? My father has not helped anyone. He has only ever relied on the scriptures and recited empty words. Words that momentarily soothe the hearts of those who came in search of relief, but hold no weight and make no real difference in their daily lives. Maybe the same could be said about all religions. I do not blame Father. Certainly it is his intention to guide these people, but he does not have the capacity. For one simple reason. He does not truly understand the problems the common folk face. How can someone who has always lived a comfortable life help them, relying only on precepts written eons ago? He does not know how these people really live. 
Neither do I. That is why I have to depart on pilgrimage and meet the different peoples of this continent. Hmm. I must know what afflicts our faithful, how they live, how they die. I have to see it with my own eyes, experience it in my own flesh. Only then, only then shall I be worthy of helping them.